Hello, welcome back to the channel. Right, um, I was going to do some blue boy jobs today, you know, around the house, but it is pouring down out there. Um, so I thought I'd do a quick video today. Now, I did a Tom Waits video yesterday, um, Bad As Me Vinyl First Play, and Strong Boys asked me to rank Tom's albums. Now, oh, oh. But as soon as he mentioned it, I started thinking about it all last night uh, and a little bit this morning. So I thought, heck it, I'm at home all day, so let's just give it a go. Now, this isn't probably the most definitive, like the Beatles, like Pink Floyd. This is subject to change because moods change. And when you like everyone's, disc you know, the whole discography of a certain person, um, sure, certain moods, you know, you might fancy a little bit of something a little bit more gentle. Or you might something a little bit crazy if you're going out for the night. So what I'm going to do, I'm only going to do is 16 studio albums. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to include bootlegs, which there's a lot of. Um, early years. Best ofs. This is great. But they're all great. Um, I'm not even going to include orphans. Even though there was new material written on here. There's a lot of old stuff, you know, it's three CDs worth in orphans. So I thought I won't I won't include that. Also, live stuff. So we've got the Glitter and Doom tour. The soundtrack to Big Time. And Nighthawks. At the diner. Now, I know this isn't really... It was done in front of a sort of like a fake audience. But, you know, it's considered live. So, I'm not going to include that. And also soundtracks. <clears throat> um, we've got Night on Earth, the Jim Jamush film. And Coppola's One from the Heart with Crystal Gale. So, I'm not going to include them at all. So, basically, the 16 studio albums. From Closing Time to Bad As Me. Right, so, I don't even like doing this, all right, but the mood I'm in today, and I'll tell you, some of them are on the actual album itself, some, with me, I've got a little bit of nostalgia tied up into some of my Tom Waits albums, so, you feel guilty putting that first one out, because it's a great album, and there's some great songs on it, Foreign Affairs, I know, I know. As soon as I've pulled it out, I mean, I know it's got Muriel, Sinny's Waltz, Never Talk to Strangers. Um, it's got some great tracks on here. But it's just, I love all Tom's albums. I feel guilty even doing this one. Next up is the second album, The Heart of Saturday Night. Um, got some great songs on here. New Coat of Paint, Semi Sweet, Shiver Me Timbers, The Heart of Saturday Night. Please Call Me Baby, Depot, Depot, Fumbling With The Blues. Oh, Now, I'm doing it with my CDs, by the way, because I've got quite a lot of Tom's albums, but there is still a few missing. Right, again, next up, and I love this, Black Rider. Ain't no sin, I'll shoot the moon. I mean, it has got some great songs on here. November. It's a great, great album. And yet to get this one on record. One of the few. Oh, again. Next up. Blue Valentine. It's a lovely album. It's got Somewhere. It's got one of my favourite Tom tracks on it. Romeo is Bleeding. A Christmas card from a hooker in Minneapolis, $29. It's Kentucky Avenue. It's great. It's a great album, but when you're going to do a list, um, that's followed by Small Change. This is some people's favourite, Tom, and I can totally understand why. It's got some awesome songs on it. Tom Trubert's Blues. The Piano Has Been Drinking, Not Me. And obviously the Daddy track on here. Invitation to the Blues. Oh, just that. 
That song alone will break your heart. It's just amazing. Step right up. Jitterbug boy. Well, they're all great, great songs. I mean, it is a little bit like doing a Beatles ranking. You know, you love all the albums. And you'll have all the tracks on them and all. Right. Next one. Least favourite. 2011's Bad As Me. Now, I've just done the vinyl play yesterday and I absolutely loved it. But, there's no but. It sounded great and the tracks were awesome. They all broke loose. Raised Right Man, talking at the same time. They are all amazing. But, to me, the ones above it on the list are even more so. Right. Next comes Bone Machine. Another one I'd love to get on right vinyl, but very expensive. I think there's only ever been one pressing made of um, Black Rider and Bone Machine. Well, I think the Island Years in general. Uh, this has got some wonderful songs on here. Jesus got to be here. Dirt in the ground. In the Colosseum. Murder in the Red Barn. Black Wings. That feel, I don't want to grow up. Great, great song. Uh, Keith Richards plays guitars on some of these. All right, how are we doing? Um, next up, oh dear. 2002's Alice. I think this was for some sort of play. Um, I do have this on vinyl, obviously. I mean, all of the anti and the uh, asylum years, I do. There's just a few missing in the middle. Um, this is wonderful. Poor Edward. Oh, about Edward Moore Drake with a talking head on the back of his. Tabletop Joe. Love that. Reaper Barn. Love, love that. Alice, everything. There's some wonderful songs on this album. I do love it. Right. <clears throat> That's followed by it. It was released on the same day too. Blood Money. Oh, all the world is green. Um, everything goes to hell anyway. Um, God's away on business, starving in the belly of a whale. So many of my favourite Tom tracks on here. But like I said, with these ones, there's a little bit of nostalgia rolled up into them. So we get into the top. What well, we got down to the top seven. All right. So next one. 1980s, Heart Attack and Vine, and Tom's last outing with uh, Electra or Asylum, however you want to say it, both. This has got sentimental value tied up to it with me. Um, I have it twice on vinyl, an original and a clear uh, remaster. And this is one of two albums me mate Clive uh, used to play. When I first, he's the one who got me into Tom Waits by lending me um, Frank Swalgers at work. But he he had these two, this one and Closing Time, which was Tom's debut album. He had them on cassette and, you know, used to play them quite a bit in the car. So there's a little bit of nostalgia tied up to this one. But it's a great album. Heart Attack and Vine, uh, Saving All My Love For You, On The Nickel. Another one. Jersey Girl. Obviously, Springsteen done that. Mr. Seagull, Ruby, Ruby's Arms, another. But it's got right edgy soul to, uh, guitar on this one. Uh, it's a great album. And like I said, tied up in that nostalgia. Closing time. This has got some of my favourites. And one of the songs I actually sent to my then, just a girl, now my wife. I hope that I don't fall in love with you. I love that song. But, and Martha. Ah. Oh. Martha. Oh, it just makes me go cold. Um, thinking about it. Little Trip to Heaven on the Wings of Your Love. Rosie, Lonely, Virginia Avenue. They're all just wonderful. But these two do remind me of the... Uh, Late 80s, I think, uh, when Clive was playing them to me at work in his car. 
Right, we're down to the top five. Or, yeah, we are down to the top five. And number five, real gone. This is the concert I went to see, Tom. There's a post poster in the background with uh, my ticket stubs in it and uh, the book of matches that I got at the Carre Theatre in Amsterdam. I see him in Amsterdam and I see him in uh, London. Uh, amazing album. And I played this over and over and over when I first got it. Um, Sins of My Father, you know, long track, beautiful. Uh, green Grass, Hoist That Rag, uh, Make It Rain. She took all my money. Brilliant. Um, yeah, so many good songs on here. And obviously, like I said, I went and see him on this tour, so it has a little bit of a special place in my heart. Got it on vinyl, the remaster. Want to get the original on vinyl before it becomes super expensive. I'm doing that thing that I said I don't like doing, getting multiples. Rain Dogs. I adore the trilogy. I really, really do. Got some great songs on here. Clap Hands, Singapore, Cemetery Polka, Jockey Full of Bourbon. So cool. So cool. Uh, obviously, Time, Rain Dogs, Ninth and Hennepin, Gun Street Girl. Fantastic album. Love this. Top three. That's followed up by Another Island. Now, I have this as well Tom's Swordfish Trombone. Another fantastic album, 1983. Underground, Shore Leave, Dave the Butcher, 16 Shells from a 38.6, or a 30.6 it should be, In the Neighbourhood, Just Another Sucker on the Vine, Frank Swald Years, and my favourite track, Sawfish Trombone. It's a wonderful, wonderful album. And normally, them three would be my top three toms, always, you know. Um... But this one has crept up to number two. It's production value. The sound of it on vinyl is off the chart. Big in Japan, low side of the road. I mean, that is dirty, gritty. Hold on, get behind the mule. You got what's he building in there? Chocolate Jesus, Georgia Lee. True story. Um, brilliant. Come on up to the house. It's just it's just a brilliant, brilliant album and very, very well produced. He knows how to do his stuff. And I think this was the first album on Anti. So he went all out. I'm sure he won some sort of awards for this one. But um yeah. That slips into my second favourite Tom album. It's just so good. And that leaves Frank's Wild Years. Now, I know it ain't everyone's favourite. A lot of people slag it off a little bit. It ain't for everyone. But, like I've explained before, and I do have this on record, thanks to my daughter, Ashley. Um, I remember going to work that day with Clive, and we had cassette tapes back then, um, with our headphones up our back, while we was at work, and I was listening to Forever Changes by Love. And during the morning, I think we played it a few times, and uh, we had this idea about swapping tapes, see what each other was listening to. And he let, borrowed love off of me, and he had a cassette of Frank's Wild Years by Tom Waits. And I, I remember it so well. We was working in Billericay, and I was blown away. I went on this story. I see these characters in my head. And it just complete blew me away that much. On the way home, I actually bought the album on CD. So, and it's always been my fave. You know, that era. I call, they call them the trilogy. You know, Sawfish Trombone, uh, Rain Dogs, and Frank's Wild Years. 
And I know a lot of people think that Swordfish and Rain Dogs are stronger albums. And, you know, their arguments are fair enough, but like I said, it's got that nostalgia to it as well. When I first heard it, I mean, starts off with Hang On St. Christopher. I'd not heard it, it sounded grimy and crackly and marvellous. Straight to the top, blow, wind, blow, temptation. Ha, he got me to play that when I worked at the record shop on a Saturday. How funny was that? Uh, I'll Be Gone, Yesterday's Here, Frank's Theme, More Than Rain, Way Down in the Hole. Brilliant. Telephone call from in Istanbul. Cold, cold ground. Although I must say this is cold, cool ground. It's an oldie. So, yeah. As of today, February 2019, that is my Tom Waits official albums, uh, studio albums, ranked. Um, what do you think about my ranking? Do you think I missed the ball? What's your favourite? Put down your top favourites uh, in the comments down below. Let's have a little compare. Um, what do you think, my little... Uh... <laughs> yeah, alright. Um, that's it for today then guys really um, have a great rest of the week I hope it brightens up because I'm back to work tomorrow and I'll be back with another ramble real soon take care guys